we're out in the cover crop field again today it's uh getting close to cotton planting time get a little bit warmer i uh, got a few beans in the ground probably gonna see them in a couple of days uh, we're gonna talk about desiccating the, the cover crop we didn't get the size we wanted uh, we let this and carry a little bit farther than we did the other two fields just trying to get as much size on it as we could kind of gather some information see which way we liked it better uh, if we needed to kill it like we did a week or two ago on one field or if we killed it a month ago on another field just again trying to gather data trying to figure out what fits the situation the best what fits matt and lane's operation the best we're going to desiccate this with some translocatable herbicides personally i like roundup and liberty everybody's kind of different they just got to figure out what they want to do what fits them the best what fits their operation the best they may want to use other chemistries it's understandable you just got to make sure that you get something that kills all the way down to the root for both grasses and broadleaves, and that's kind of the reason for mixing those two chemistries together when you put them together they're usually pretty hot they usually take care of a lot of things uh, obviously run a a full rate depending on the size we're going to run a full rate on this just to make sure we get it killed and get it to deteriorating we got about three weeks or so for cotton plant like i mentioned earlier the thing i want to talk about as much as anything when it comes to desiccating or spraying herbicides or fungicides insecticides or biology or nematicides is checking your water and making sure that you've got a good clean water that your your pH is right. Uh, you don't have any heavy metals. If you got a, if you're running municipal water, you're running some type of dechlorinator to get rid of that chlorine. So you improve the efficacy of your herbicides, your insecticides, uh, your fungicides, and your nematicides. Some nematicides and some herbicides, you know, they don't work very well with a with a certain pH. You know, they got to have a, a just a fine pH to make them do what they need to do. So check your water. That's a pretty low-ended thing to do just to make sure that you're not losing some of your efficacy.